And yeah. things are falling, falling out of the tree. But that's the only so thing. is that the wheel back there? Go get that. Wow. This, this wheel, like, he was just, he was just, and this wheel, like, it's straight, flew off, like. Okay. So. He was like, oh, no, sorry, I'm going to it out. So that just happened. All right, then. I guess we're going home on foot. <laughs> Happy Memorial Day, everyone. Hopefully your Memorial Day was relaxing and enjoyable, if not a little different this year. Um, my adventures have been kind of interesting this year. We tried to go on a, the first family bike ride and that didn't quite go as well as we planned. My wife actually got a new three-wheel bike that we were very looking very forward to her riding that apparently pulls to the left and is not easy to ride at all. Um, so we'll be doing work on that one in the future next me and the, uh, the younger two went for a ride and we just kind of tooled around the neighborhood for a little bit and on our way back we hit a bump a little too hard and that back wheel just came right out from underneath us no one was hurt um, surprisingly the the main frame of the bike held my son's weight and he was still on there for a couple of feet and then I just kind of looked wow. back and noticed that the wheel was off um, rather than risk it we walked home we walked home but I at least told a, a pretty good story anyway I got some new music coming out I've been working on something all weekend and uh, uh, hopefully it's kind of moving and touching so that should be coming out in the next few days at least in all the streaming services but I think I'll give you a little sample of it towards the end here um, thanks for watching happy Memorial Day see you in the next one I was watching the kids play on scooters the other day, going back and forth between houses in a predictable pattern, fully engaging their imaginations as they rushed back and forth between the secret lab and the evil fortress. They defeated each just by being there before rushing back to home base. Soon other children appeared to be running similar maneuvers across the street. They were doing their best to keep socially distant from one another. I remember doing similar activities as a kid. Minus the social distancing, of course. We had no concept of that. neighborhood. My mother knew all the neighbors and she kept an eye out for all the kids. Sure there were shootings and gang activity in places, but we were pretty insulated in our neighborhood. The first house I bought I thought was in an okay neighborhood. It seemed like a good first house. We moved in on Memorial Day weekend. Six or seven houses down the street someone was shot at a barbecue. <laughs> Welcome to the neighborhood. Now that the house wasn't all bad, I met my new wife. I got into some good new hobbies. But there was no connection to the people there. We barely waved at the neighbors, always in the back of my mind wondering if they were the ones who broke into my house. There was just no connection. I missed that for my kids. I wanted them to be able to interact with people, to play outside, to not be worried about the neighbors. So we moved. Lucked out with the neighbors. Very first week, we got cookies from the neighbor across the street. Welcome to the neighborhood. We started making great connections here. We hung out with the neighbors, the kids played together, and we weren't afraid, but now we're afraid. 
Not of getting shot by one of the neighbors, but of this disease, of getting too close. What will my son remember? Will he remember going to church or just watching it on TV? Will he remember when he could hug his friends without fear? Will he remember not having to stay six feet apart from his closest friends? Will he remember what the inside of a grocery store looks like? Will he remember a time where he wouldn't have to wear a mask? What will he remember? What will his life be like tomorrow? What? What's that son? He fell off your scooter? Uh-oh. Looks like you skinned your knee. No worries. Let's get some first aid kit and clean that up a bit. Okay. Here's a clean band-aid. Alright. You're all set? He's off again. I was watching kids play on scooters the other day.